Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, we are continuing our PHP PDO CRUD application. So guys, now in this video, we will be learning about how to delete the data using PHP PDO. That means PHP data object. Okay. So guys, now let's get started. So now guys, let's move to our editor and go to our index page at the table. Okay. So this is our table head and let's add the delete option delete and let's create a table a button table data button here I am going to begin with the form with the method is equal to post and inside this a simple button that will be delete and this let's design this button button danger and its button type is equal to submit name is equal to delete student so now guys uh, we will be fetching the value I mean ID student ID inside the value attribute open PHP and close PHP echo the row of ID here you give your data so now guys uh, you will go to code.php so once you click on this delete button you are going to code.php with the post method while you will carry this value also okay so let me just show you the output of this first and then we'll begin with coding okay so this is the delete button so now guys let's move to code.php with the button name delete student so go to code.php now let's begin with the coding part let's check the button is set or not which means clicked or not that is using post method delete student so guys we are going to get the student id with the help of post method so inside what you are having the value inside this delete student so let me just show you let's go to index.php here is the value which has the name of delete student okay so you are getting from that button only student id so now guys let's let's start with the try catch where you can tell the pdo exception pdo exception dollar e and you can just echo the message if you get any error from that so yep and here you are going to add the query guys so let's type the query is equal to delete from the table name that is students so let me just confirm it yep it's a student students where id is equal to colon your student id okay so now guys let's prepare this statement dollar statement is equal to your database connection so from where this is coming from your database okay here so we have set this and we have included that at the top dbcon and from there guys we are going to prepare it prepare dollar query your above query which we have written this okay so once prepared let's execute this dollar statement of execute function and inside this what you're going to execute I mean you have to bind the student ID so either you create a separate variable and assign or else you can just pass that directly inside this as student ID So this is also one method if you're getting confused guys let's keep it out itself like dollar data is equal to we are going to keep this and just pass the dollar data so it will be more clear to you all set so now guys once executed you are need to get the result I mean that is your query execution 
query underscore execute is equal to and if this is success here you get else you will tell not deleted so let's copy and paste the code to show the message let's copy this and paste all done and instead of update let's make it deleted successfully not deleted and it goes back to index.php file okay so when you click on this it comes back to index.php so yep guys all done guys now let's get back to check i'm going to delete the row number three let's click delete here you get deleted successfully and your data is not visible so let me just add dummy data so some dummy and let's save here you go so let me just show you that in the database here is the record now let's click to delete delete this deleted successfully let me refresh done let's check into our database here you see that data is deleted so guys we have successfully learned how to delete the data from database using php pdo okay so guys thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share